Hey guys, MidJK here, back with my Gumi sponsored account. Again, this is not my personal account, this is just a loaner so I can showcase certain things. So I wanted to go ahead and showcase some of the new units that are currently on the banner right now and demonstrate two of them because two of them have unique jobs that we haven't seen before. So the first one will be Glands here. This is basically your base 4 star, kind of like a Suzuka clone. She does have a dark leader skill, of course, because she's dark. Uh, it's only 30% versus Suzuka's 50% for light. But again, she's base 4 star, very easily obtainable, and she's pretty much the same thing otherwise. Um, probably most people will go with the ninja build here. Um, you can see that she's going to be quite the glass cannon because she only has 425 HP. And unfortunately, you know, because of her skills, she has to get up close, which means that she's very vulnerable. But of course, the upside is that she can be very devastating and kill people very easily. Um, you know, basically one shot most things. Now, the build that I have right now, or the ability setup right now, is not quite made for a glass cannon. This is more for mobility. Like, I have Ninja Stealth on. But if you wanted to kind of ensure that you can one-shot everything, and you know, this will vary by level depending on how tough the enemies are, you could go with a uh, single blade here. You do lose a good amount of agility, you lose 24 agility, but the attack goes up by 180-ish. So this could definitely make the difference, you know, between killing it in one shot or not. And you know, that would kind of it would be worth it if you're not gonna like sit there and take a shot from the enemy who survived. So yeah, there's various options that you can work around. Um, I mean, if you like the samurai skill set, you can even use this instead. Um, I mean, it's still 97 agility, still workable, or you can go with ninja stealth again. Uh, definitely a little bit lower attack and everything, but you know, the skills are a little bit better for the primary if you're not going for status ailments. But this is probably the way most people will run it. I went with um, Tsubami Gaishi as a reactive instead of Avenger because Avenger does have that chance to force Berserk status, um, which is not always a good thing. So anyway, this is um, one way to build it and just wanted to showcase that really quick. Another thing I need to note is that on this account, I actually um, I use so many um, gear upgrading things like or equipment upgrading materials like for Mei Fang and so forth to get it all maxed out that it's actually running a little bit low so I need to possibly ask Kumi if they can kind of recharge that I'm sure it'd just be a flick of a switch for them but I also don't want to be a pain in the butt um, so Ramsey's here is again nothing really new but he does have these jobs he's very similar to Rosa as I mentioned in my other video this is the way I have him set up um, again, he has move plus one versus Rosa's ninja stealth, but I mean, look at the jump. It's already six. I mean, there's very few situations where you'll need seven jump, and you know, he's built a little bit strong, or he does a little more damage than Rosa because he has overdrive versus over limit. So his attack is quite high. He's a powerhouse. 97 agility is not that great, but it's workable. It's not going to feel like super slow. It's not going to feel like the old. You know tanks and everything that used to have like 80 agility so you know he's workable um, again if you max out all your equipment and put on some gear you can definitely dish out some more damage than I'm even showing here like for instance you know you can get him up past 700 and you know he's quite tanky I guess um, well actually his defense is low of course because of overdrive but 700 plus HP is actually pretty respectable so that is Ramsey's in a nutshell uh, nothing really new, but that's how I would use him. Now, the characters that I will spotlight with a kind of like a demonstration are Nika, and the other one is going to be um, Vivi. So, Vivi is going to basically be used as a Magia gunslinger. Her other jobs are Gunner and Sage. Now, the other jobs are kind of important for their passives. Um, when I played around with the setup, this is what I ended up with. So, I'm going to do both Magic Gun abilities because that's what we want to see the new stuff quick draw is the reactive this is kind of like um, Gilgamesh's reactive where you can preemptively hit the enemy before getting hit Magia scope is kind of a must-have for her um, this is on her first job it gives her one extra range and it raises magic attack so her skills and everything are based on magic attacks uh, the stat so this is how you'll do more damage and of course the plus one range is very important um, and then, actually, um, scratch what I said before. You might not need job three because with the uh, the build that I'm using here, I'm using long shot, which gives her an additional 
I don't know why I'm having clicking problems here today. It gives her an additional one range. And, you know, if you're going to play with this kind of character and, you know, you want to keep her safe and everything, it's not like she's particularly tanky or has some good survival skills. So I would like to keep as much distance as possible. So I would definitely prefer long shot over, like, Magic Up Plus 2. Because Magic Up Plus 2... While it sounds like it's going to be a really good passive, I mean, it's even a plus two. It's really not that much if you look at it. So 444 versus 405, and I'd much rather have the one range. So this is the ideal setup, I think. Um, so you really only need jobs one and job two, uh, which is really easy to get if you pull for her. So that's my suggested setup, and we'll go with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and gear her up now so that when we go in, we can kind of see her full potential. Um, this is not her gun. What is this? Charm pistols? Okay. Uh, I guess that's probably, like, the best choice for her right now. I don't think she has, like, a character-specific weapon or anything like that. Um, do we have any more curious dolls, or is this the only one? This might be the only one. So, um, the other one's gonna be a magic user who doesn't need jewels, so I'll put curious doll on her. And armor, we don't really care about that, so... That's what we'll roll with. And then the other one, the last one, is Nika, who is our first battle mage. And as you can see, her stats are quite impressive for a, basically a mag magic user. Um, her agility is, you know, again, passable. Her magic attack is very high. Uh, her HP is very high for this kind of character. And her defense is pretty good. So as I mentioned, again, in my previous video, if you've seen it, um, not only does she do magic attacks, but she has a lot of, like... Um, tankiness elements like she can buff up physical defense and magic defense um kind of as a support skill or she can just do it to herself for one turn with like a massive amount 200 percent so she's designed to not only kill things but also to survive so she's very um pretty unique in that way so i'll go with charming rod uh give her some extra magic attack give her some extra jewels and um this gives a uh, five agility. I feel like there's something that gives. I'm not remembering it right now, but oh, ten. That's right. Battlefield drama. So this is like the OP accessory. I'll go with this. Um, so her ability setup is going to be again. We're going to do combat magic just to see them both. Reflection is going to basically help her to survive a little bit better. If you wanted to kind of go more offensive, you can go with absorb jewels so you can keep casting in a longer fight or counter magic plus two but uh, i think survivability is probably key here divine shelter again for that extra resistance this is going to help keep her alive as well with 668 hp almost 300 defense and divine shelter she's actually pretty surprisingly tanky that's really impressive uh sorcery repair is a, probably her best um passive for offense because it raises her magic attack by 40 percent which is massive it does lower her magic defense, but I mean, even with this on, she still has 200, and that's mo more than most anyway. And Divine Shelter is going to help out in that regard as well. Like, the reason I wouldn't use Magicka plus 2, for example, is this is another one of those um, that, you know, despite being a plus 2, it's only really like 12%. It's really not that good. Uh, Shell Charge, this is actually a really good one too. Um, it raises her defense and uh, reduces charge time by one fifth. But I think the other two, I think the other passes are more important. Um, I mean, it feels like one third. That would be a no brainer. Like, it'd be kind of like an enhanced swift charge. But um, we're going to see how well we can do with just this. Actually, scratch that. In real life, I would use Divine Shelter. But for the purposes of this video, I'm going to use Shell Charge just to um, uh, get these things off faster. So you can see her physical defense went up a lot as well. So. You know what, maybe if you're going up against only physical attacking enemies, this might be the better choice than Divine Shelter, which is hard for me to even say because Divine Shelter is so OP. But I can definitely see the uh, argument for that. So yeah. All right, let's go jump into a level and just do kind of like the basic run through with the new characters. Um, again, I'm not gonna showcase characters that don't have anything new skill-wise. We're just gonna go and don't really know which one. Yeah, I guess Golem Games is pretty okay. We'll do her as the leader, and then Nika. All right, so turn off auto. Auto's off, and let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, I have never used these characters before, so I'm kind of like 
um, feeling it out for the first time. I only know what's on paper, basically. Okay, so this is uh, VV. As you can see, the range is quite good. Uh, I could even stand back here and hit that guy. So almost feels like sniper range. I mean, I know a lot of snipers have more range than this, but I mean, this is definitely enough range to keep, uh, stay safe. As you can see, that plus one extra range is very important because if I were not able to kill this guy, for instance, uh, the next turn, most of these enemies, most characters in the game have three move. He'd be able to come up and hit me. Well, actually, this is a bit bad example because he has a spear. He probably still can hit me. But it feels like a regular melee unit. He'd be able to move up three spaces and he would still be out of range to hit me. So that's why that extra one range is so important. So let's... Um, yeah, might as well farm up some jewels. That doesn't hurt. Okay, so decent damage. Uh, again, that range is really nice. Keeps her safe. Uh, Nika. Oh, this is just the battlefield drama. Let's go to combat magic. Um, aerial move is wind magic damage. Raises own move by one for three turns. So, And it's a pretty quick cast speed. 400 is pretty fast. So why don't we do this? Um, all right, so this is a one single target spell. 12, 17 damage is pretty good. Hmm, I might have to pull for this one. It's, it's kind of a unique unit. I mean, a tanky mage with some pretty fast casting stuff. That's pretty cool, man. All right, so um, again, this range is pretty nice, but we're going to use an ability now. This is just a regular magic shot. This one actually has cast speed uh, associated with it. So I think I should be able to get it off before Chloe moves. Let's see. All right, so again, combat magic, absolute defense. This is that support ability, a nice range. You know, if I were um, in a level where you kind of start more clustered, you could do this and buff up defense by a ton. Um, but, you know, we're not going to do that because there's really nothing to see here. Uh, Luminous Chant. Okay, so this is a light magic attack with a nice AoE range. So unfortunately, there's really nobody else in range um, near Lofia. Oh, this is a cross, an actual cross, not like the 5x5 five five usual cross. This is an actual cross shape, like that. Okay, I see. That's interesting. All right, so let's do that. Oh, and it's instant cast. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm just going to stand here to get my next turn quicker again. Magia shot. All right, pretty standard stuff. We've seen that kind of thing before. Looks like a basic gunner skill, basically. All right, so so Luminous Chant um, greatly reduces charge time for the next turn. So yeah, I mean, the damage wasn't that great, but it's going to help out this next turn. So that's kind of interesting st strategically. And now I can use something like Intersecting Thunder, um, which is the actual diamond um, 5x5. But instead of a 280 cast speed, it's actually going to be a lot faster than that, which is going to be good because 280 is pretty slow. So let's see how quickly we can get this off. There we go. Oh no, don't move. Alright, so burning shell. Alright, so again, we have all these different elemental options here. We have fire and daze with burning shell. These are all instant, of course. Laser snipe, which is light magic and penetrating. Okay, so this would be like, you know, if somebody was behind him, that would be a useful ability. Or if it's a dark enemy, you'd want to use that one. And then we have Hell Barrage, which is dark magic on target unit. No real special properties. It's also worth noting that these have unlimited height range, which is very important in some of these like more uh, hilly levels, like that um, Yara gear farming level. You want that unlimited range. So she would be great in that level, actually. Um, so let's try Burning Shell first. Uh, no, that's a bad, bad element. It doesn't matter. <laughs> We're going to kill it anyway. All right, so that's what that looks like. And if it had survived, it would be dazed, which means that they can't act. All right, so we got off Intersecting Thunder. Still killed both of the enemies, which is good. 
and then we'll do another round, try to get through the rest of the abilities. So far, these um, these characters feel pretty good. I mean, um, I really like that extra range on BB, uh, so it definitely worked out um, as well as I had hoped. Let's try this again. All right, so <clears throat> I think most of these Magia gun skills are gonna kind of look the same. So there's not really any cool graphics or anything. All right, so we'll do laser snipe instead. Oh, is this, okay, so this is the penetrating one. Let's try this, actually. Let's go a little bit closer, can it, there we go. That's pretty cool. Okay, that's like your piercing shot or whatever. Again, very similar to gunner, but with the added benefit of the elements, of course. All right, so what else does she have here? All right, so we've actually used all of these, except absolute defense. We'll go to the basic combat magic. Wind um, raises own jump by th for three turns. That's interesting. Okay, so this is another single target. I guess if she needed that jump to get up a certain cliff, that's pretty cool. I mean, definitely situational when you would need that, but you know, it's that's a cool trick to have up your sleeve. I feel like that's the kind of thing I would easily forget unless I used the character a lot and got used to her, so. All right, so, okay, we're gonna need to farm up some jewels here, so let's just do that. Yeah, I'm liking the feel of Vivi uh, a lot more than I thought I would. I mean, gunners are already pretty useful in general, it's just that their damage is terrible. Okay, drain dimension, this is a um, HP drain and it raises her own magic attack, which is crazy because draining HP to fill up your health is already good enough. And again, she's already pretty tanky, but then to raise her magic attack afterward, which is crazy. <coughs> so what we'll do actually, we'll preview how much Water Flash would have done. So let's do that. Water Flash would have done 801. But if we do Drain Dimension first, let's see how much that ends up doing later. Man, that's crazy. And it's instant. I mean, wow. I, I really want Nika <laughs> now. Um, all right, so what do we have here? We have Flame Shot, Freezing Shot. Okay, this is where most of the other elements are. So her magic gun skills, her like, you know, her primary stuff, was well, kind of like a neutral magic, fire, light, and dark. Um, double fire for her. And then here we have kind of like the rest of them. Fire, water, thunder, wind. And all of these do the exact same amount of AoE, um, which is three by three cross. And they're all instant. So, okay, this is a big differentiating factor from um, regular gunners, obviously. So these, these are really useful AoEs, and I'm glad that they're all instant as well. Um, okay, we, we gotta see one of these. Let's try uh, Thunder. But I don't, I wanna try that Nika. I already buffed up Nika. Okay, Vivi, you're gonna get your shot next turn, <laughs> the next round. But for now, we gotta see how much um, Nika was buffed up here. So Water Flash, this is a square line, wow. 800 ish to 1339 and again drain dimension is instant and it gives her hp back and helps her to top off but then it also has a buff attached to it man that's that's insane okay so i'm gonna do this 1339 1340 ish okay i'm really liking this character a mage that you don't have to babysit and can actually stay alive that's really crazy Actually, you know what, we'll just finish it off with one of these because they're all pretty much the same deal. Um, maybe different colors, but we'll just finish it off here and call it a video. But yeah, really nice that she has all these AoE and elemental options. Pretty cool stuff. I'm really liking these characters. I'm, I'm surprised actually. So um, yeah, let me know if there's something I missed or misunderstood, but I think these are really pretty decent characters, man. I, I'm, I think they'd be fun to use too. So. Maybe I'll do some more pulling. Um, yeah, we'll see tomorrow what, what the banners look like. But 
I'm pretty impressed, uh, and they're, they're a whole lot of fun to use too. Uh, kind of nice blend of instant and casting time, so yeah, doesn't feel too slow, doesn't feel too restrictive. Anyway, I'm babbling on. I hope you guys enjoy watching, and let me know what you think about these characters, especially if you have them and have tried them out, where they might be useful and so forth. So, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.